everyone zeta here again with yet another card review we're going to do a one card card review because it's a neutral legendary we got to go over it it's exciting mechs are getting some incredible tools and i think it's a really really solid legendary minion there's also two more cards being revealed later today i believe one in like 45 minutes and then another uh five hours after that we'll cover both of those once those are live so stay tuned for that and well you might as well subscribe to the channel and enter the giveaway as always we are only 700 subscribers away now from throwing a third mega bundle away to you guys instead of two more money out of my pocket anyways what is the new card what is the new card well it is a neutral mech style legendary any storm coil this is a five mana four four neutral legendary battle cry choose a friendly mech so it has to be on the board and it has to be friendly can't be your opponents as well as summon a copy with rush wind fury and divine shield so this can just create it's basically like a faceless manipulator but you get a four four with any and then you also buff it up with wind fury and rush from what I understand, what I'm looking at with this card, the copy you get will not um, actually be able to go face, right? It'll be a newly generated mech that will be able to trade with other minions, but also just be a giant threat. If it's if it trades and stays alive, it's going to be a giant threat. It's going to be very solid. Um, and you know, you can copy very buff things up, hand buff them. I'm thinking this is a paladin card. I'm looking at any, and I'm like, this might as well be a, might as well be a paladin card because it's got to copy something i feel like it's got to be a buffed mech it can't just be whatever and you have the new colossus mech for paladin as well which you can choose that to copy if you wish if it survives of course and you know paladin has hand buffs they got like other buffs typically usually blessing kings it's so hard to evaluate without the core set knowing what's coming but all those buffs can be really well utilized get a copy fight for board create a threat that has to be killed if the wind fury mech stays on the board it's going to kill your opponent so it creates a really good threat and i think this card is very solid of course only in mech decks but in particular for mech paladin and this goes for wild too in wild you have a lot of bigger ways to buff things up whether it be a zilliax war gear the magnetic keyword in particular uh slapping that onto a cheap mech and again you don't have to have the minion on board the you know that turn you could play it and then copy it the same turn giving it immediate rush the copy that is so you're gonna get two mechs you're gonna get one that has rush and divine cheer uh divine shield and wind fury i think it's a very solid card in these um paladin paladin mech decks or mech decks in general i will give it a four to five in standard i think it's just such a good way of like getting that board presence getting just more mechs and also creating a threat that might outright kill your opponent it does a lot of things in one card but it's not flexible in the, in any way other than if you're not playing a mech deck there's absolutely no point in playing this card it just won't be doing anything unless you're playing a, i guess an amalgam deck that copies a lot of stuff and does that so in standard i i think i think i'll give it a four it's probably too nice a rating it's probably more like a three but i think the mech decks can really use this in wild where you have way better buffs you have the uh you know the magnetics and all the stuff i've talked about and you know they're gonna blessing of authority and all these bigger buffs that aren't in standard anymore i think five man is too slow i really do um it doesn't give charge or anything like that uh it's solid don't get me wrong and there's other classes that can utilize it a little bit better there too where in wild you're gonna have you know mech hunter with uh they have like metal tooth leaper they have dark mood tonk if you want to go that route you know sadly this card will not be able to utilize a dark mood tonk in standard today but i'll give it a th i gotta give it a two out of five i think it's too slow and wild but uh, prove me wrong on this one prove me wrong get some zilly axes and well that already has divine shield and uh rush but we'll have to wait and see there's no uh i don't think there's any mech with charge in wild if i can remember correctly i don't think so but yeah it's a very solid very good mech legendary but if you're hoping for something that you could use in any other deck you're kind of left uh hopeless on that one but really good mech card really good for whatever deck and there's 10 classes that can utilize it i'm sure one of them will find a home for it so like again i'll remind you guys we have two more reviews coming later today so stay tuned for that if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe have a great day and stay salty my friends